Chapter 8.2, Journalizing and Posting Closed Entries. So we've gone through our accounting cycle, we've, we've analyzed the transaction, we've, po we've recorded the transaction, we've posted, we've created our worksheets, we've created our balance sheets and our various financial statements, uh, we've done our adjusting entries, now we're at the point where the, at the end of the fiscal period, basically what we need to do is we need to reset the odometer. Uh, we have different types of accounts, there are permanent accounts and there are temporary accounts. The temporary accounts are going to be your revenue and expense accounts. We need to take those and reset those to zero so we can begin calculating at the beginning of the fiscal period. So before we get going though to kind of understand the concept of what we're going to do today, quick question for you and you can go ahead and press pause any time to think about it. Uh, if I have a sales and I have a normal balance of 35, credit normal balance of 3500, what would happen if I put a debit to sales? Um, Hopefully you're able to realize that if there's a credit balance of 35 and I have a and I enter a balance of 3,500 in debit, that sales balance now would become zero. Same with expense has a normal balance of a debit. What happens if I enter 500 as a credit uh, there? I would be to zero. Drawing same thing. What if I have a 200 debit balance and I enter 200 as a credit? What would happen? It would give me a zero balance. That if you can understand that concept, um, we need to basically zero out these revenue and expense accounts. Um, this will. Uh, this is the whole concept of this lesson. We're not getting rid of sales. We're not losing money. But what we're going to do is we're actually going to uh, be moving them into a special uh, account that allows us to ultimately move everything back into the capital owner's equity account. So our temporary accounts, if you can see here, and this is key, all revenue accounts, all expense accounts, the income summary is a temp temporary account, and our drawing account. All of our permanent accounts are assets, liabilities, uh, and capital account. We are not going to close the permanent accounts. We are only resetting the revenue accounts uh, in order for us to get a good picture and tell the story of what we're ultimately looking for. So we're not going to be touching, we're not going to be closing uh, any of the permanent accounts because think about it, just because you have $400 of supply and it's the end of the fiscal period, does that mean at the beginning of the fiscal period you have nothing? No, you still have those 400 and they continue on. So talked a little bit about income summary you might not be a sure but what is income summary well income summary is basically it's a it's a temporary account that's created to help us close the accounts remember debit and credits um, if we didn't have an income summary we wouldn't have the debits and credits to be able to close all the accounts that we need income summary is funny because there is no normal balance for income summary uh, debits basically are where your expenses go and credits is where your revenue goes and the reason being is that's going to help us close back into capital. It'll make a little more sense when we go through the process here uh, shortly. And like I said, debit only means expenses for income summary accounts and credit only means revenue for income summary accounts. All other accounts, debit means left, credit means right. But for income summary, debit only means expense and credit only means revenue. So we have four closing entries that we have to do and we have to take care of. Uh, they are performed in this order. It is, it is extremely important that you do perform them in this order. First, we close sales to income summary. Then we close income expenses to income summary. Then we close our income summary to owner's capital and then our owner's drawing into owner's capital. You can hopefully you start seeing a little bit where this income summary comes into play because in the closing entries, debits still have to equal credits in every single one of these entries. However, if we didn't have income summary, we wouldn't. It would be very difficult to have our debits equal our credits. So we create this income summary to let our debits equal our credits and allow us to reset our template right there. So, so as you can see, there's kind of the process. Now, what happens if there's a net loss? Well, we do the exact same process. Sales goes into income summary, revenue, okay, as a credit. Uh, expenses go into income summary as a, as a debit. Now, in this case, the debit side or the expense side is going to be greater than the revenue, so that's a net loss. So then we're going to take that and then we'll move that ultimately into owner's capital and we, that as a debit because that will decrease the owner's worth and then our drawing account we're going to move that back into owner's capital and that'll decrease the owner's uh, capital as well. So, so let's take a look at the transaction and see how it works. So in this case we have our sales. We need to close this sales account. As you can see it has a credit balance. Well, I have our journal set up. As you can see those are, there's our adjusted entry from the previous exercise. 
we're going to now do the same thing we do with adjusted entries, but except we're going to write closing entries. We're not going to need a document number because it is listed out there. Uh, but once again, let's go through the date. It's the 30th in this case. I am going to do sales because in order to make sales zero, now this is going to be the only time that you're going to write sales in that account title. One of the few times you're going to write sales in that account title. Um, so if you see here, I have a balance of 62.30 credit. Well, I have to make I have to make that zero. So to make that zero, I write it as a debit. So sales is zero. But as you can see, this is why income summary came up. Where would I put the credit? Well, we put the credit in the income summary because in an income summary, credit means uh, it's revenue. Okay, so right now my sales account is back to zero. We didn't lose the sales. We just moved it so we can get it into our, figure out our net worth. Now the next thing I'm going to do is we're going to take all of our expenses and I'm going to close those. So what we do is we put the date. I'm going to put income summary first because if you notice here, debits have to go first before credits on the, in, on the balance, on the uh, journal for when we do the closing. So uh, these are all debits. So to make them zero, I have to enter them as a credit. So I'm, I know that the if I add all of those up, that's going to give me 3260. I'm going to list all my expenses on there and I'm going to list them as credits. Now, those expenses are being zeroed out. It's just like resetting the odometer every time you get in the car. The car still has 50,000 miles, but this trip we only put on 12 miles or we only put on 15 miles. And that's exactly what we're doing. So think of uh, think of the overall mileage as the income summary or the capital account ultimately, and then we're just resetting it. Okay, so then there's that. So now, right now, if you take a look, my income summary is my net income of 2973. So if you take a look here, income summary is 2973. So I'm going to move that into there as a debit because I'm closing it and I'm moving that into my credit. And the reason being is if you take the 62.33 less the 32.60, you should get the 29.73. It's also up there as the net income on there as well. You're going to move that, you're going to enter that as a credit to letter long capital, and then you're going to debit that to ultimately zero it out. Finally, what we're going to do is we now take our drawing and we're going to take the drawing and zero that out. That has a debit balance. We're going to enter that as a credit uh, into Leonard Long Capital. And so Leonard Long Capital will be a debit because that decreases the owner's worth and then we'll credit Leonard Long Drawing. And that's how we close it out. So basically what's happened here is we've taken everything and we've moved it all into one account. Uh, they're still there, the accounts are there, but they're all set at zero. That odometer is set at zero, ready for the next trip, ready for us to record the next fiscal period and tell that story to the shareholders and stakeholders. Hope this helps and... Oh, before we go, sorry, remember to post all closing entries in appropriate ledgers. We didn't do it in this example, but you will want to go through and post these all in the appropriate ledgers and make sure that that is done there because uh, it's important so we can know what our balances are. Hope this helps and best of luck and keep up the great work.